this award is important because it recognises a lot of the concerns that, that young children have and Sunnyside are a good example of that where they have been Ocean Defenders for a number of years, where they have campaigned for the Nestro at all campaign and where they're very passionate about trying to you know, progress uh, eco projects and encourage biodiversity and so we felt it was really important to get them to come along today to participate in the judging. So basically we were discussing about three different um, places and we took the pros and the cons and we decided um, who had the most eco-friendly place. We need to make sure that we're all being held to account and that we're all doing as much as we can in terms of climate action and the kids are the ones that are really leading the way on that. I think all businesses and all of us as individuals can, can make such simple steps to reduce our um, environmental impact. It's absolutely critical that we engage with all of our businesses across the city. We can't become carbon neutral on our own, we need everybody to play their part and it's really great to have this as an incentive to enable businesses, bars and clubs across the city to think about what they're doing already and maybe what they could do uh, next year or the year after to push that work a little bit further. Uh, I think we can learn a lot from young people um, and I think from the climate strikes and everything else we've really learned that they at the forefront because it's their future so to have them involved has been uh, a great thing for Best Bonon to do. I think the winner really deserved it because they made a great effort. I do think they deserve to win because they've put a lot of effort in for just like a small little pub. The one that we chose to win had a teen garden even though it was small it still had a lot in it. Boys and girls if you would like to tell us who the winner of the Sunnyside Sustainability Award for 2019 Westwood Square Hotel.